few moments in the life of past champ car uh, champion Paul Tracy, including that last one, the unfortunate moment in which he was uh, sidelined, has been since the Long Beach Grand Prix, but will return to action next week at Portland. And we're pleased to have him back on Wind Tunnel tonight to talk about that and more. PT, good to see you, man. Welcome how, back. How are you? That was uh, pretty entertaining stuff between Danica and Dan. That was... That was uh, that was a better exchange than putting me and Bordet and Tagliani in a rubber room together. I thought it was decent. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was decent. Did you uh, did you see? Did you watch no, the race? No, did I didn't. See, I didn't see the race. So I just he heard that exchange, and I was like, "That's some good stuff." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right. It, it, it sounds like the sort of thing you get involved in occasionally. It's one of the reasons we like you. Um, let's start with the most frequently asked PT question of the last uh, couple of months. How did you break your back in a crash that seemed so minor? What's the what's the post mortem on the accident and the and the resulting injury? Well, I was at the shop a couple weeks ago, and obviously I've been talking with Trammell a lot about the incident. He's been to our shop looking at the car with uh, Scott Elkins, and I think the general consensus is is that you know I hit the wall head on at about 35 to 40 miles an hour. Uh, the way the car's seat belts were anchored in the car uh, and with the raised nose of the car with my feet elevated up off the ground, uh, you don't really have a lot of leverage uh, to hold yourself in place with your feet up off the ground, you know, mm -hmm. with a raised nose car. Uh, my body kind of submarined and slid forward in the car because the seat belts weren't it, with the location of the belts, it allowed my pelvis to kind of slide up the ramp of the seat. And at the same time, my back came forward, compressing in the seat belts forward, and it just kind of crunched me like a, like a taco, you know. And it, I fractured a vertebrae right in the center of my uh, sternum on, in, on the stomach side. So is that then a, a design problem, or no, is that just no, a seat just, belt uh, mount you know, fix? Seat belt mounting, and you know, I've changed the seat uh, pretty drastically from how I had the seat. Uh, so. I think we've, uh, you know, it was just one of those things. I said to Trammel, I said, you know, I've had so many huge accidents in my career, and I've, you know, I, I barely have, have had any seat in the car because I'm a bigger guy than most guys, and the Lola was a smaller car, and Penske's were smaller than that, and uh, he just said, well, you've, you know, you've been pretty lucky. Basically, you've you've dodged a bullet a lot of times, and you didn't get away with it this Gotta time. Got to be frustrating with the big ones that you've walked away from to have one that seemingly inconsequential hurt you. What happens as a result of this, of course, is you're 15th in points, and you're 50 behind the guy who seems to be becoming the perennial champion, your old buddy Sebastian. How do you then approach the remainder of this season? What do you want to get accomplished? Well, we've had a plan from the beginning, and that was to run stronger. And I think we came we came out of the blocks really strong at at, uh, at Vegas. We were on the pole the first day and started on the front row. We we had a good race. We had a, a fueling issue, which probably cost us the race. But uh, you know, if it, we just have to draw off the things that we've done. You know, if if uh, if I'd have finished in the places that Oriole, who subbed for me, if I finished in the places that he finished in in Long Beach and Houston, we'd be leading the championship. So, you know, the team has done a good job this year, and everybody's working hard, and they've been working hard in this break, and I'm ready to come back now. So uh, we're just going to try to take it one race at a time and get back into the frame. Let's talk about uh, about NASCAR. Do I have this right? After uh, several pretty unsatisfying starts in the, in the Bush series, you told your car owner, I'm done with that. I'm focused on Champ Car. You did a five-year deal, and now you're going to run the Montreal Bush race? A, do I have well, that right? And if so, what happened? Well, it, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And uh, I got a call from uh, Kevin Harvick about three weeks ago, and he said, hey, you know, uh, you know, you want to come drive my car in Montreal and be teammates with, with Ron Fellows. And I, you know, in the initial moment, I was like, man, that would be cool. You know, I'd, I'd like to get in a good car, and uh, it would be driving the 77 car, which is, has won races. It's a front-running car. And, and uh, to teammate up with Ron Fellows, uh, probably a lot of people don't know this, but the first race car that we ever bought uh, when I was 15 years old, we bought from Ron, who was a struggling open wheel racer back then, and oh, he yeah. sol sold us his Formula Ford and went tin top racing. So that would have been kind of cool. But, you know, trying to put it all together, you know, he's got uh, some sponsors that, you know, he's got Coca Cola as a sponsor. I've got Monster as a sponsor. So mm -hmm. that was a conflict. And then it, the race kind of fell. In a, in a weekend gap of about a five race uh, swing we've got going on back to back with only one weekend off. So I talked to, to Forsyth about it and, and he wasn't real keen about it and sponsors weren't keen and his sponsors didn't like the monster angle. So it kind of just didn't really come together, but it, it sounded like a cool idea. 
So no more NASCAR. We are, we're back well, to plan A. Yeah, I'm back, back to plan A. You know, but my focus this year was really to be on Champ Car. And, you know, obviously we've had a big curveball thrown at us, but uh, we're at where we're at. And, and the only thing I can do is concentrate on race to race and just keep plugging away and go at it and try to get race wins and hopefully we can catch up. Yeah, that's a shame. That would have been cool. I'd love to see you against, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Montoya. Uh, that would have been fun. I got a couple more questions. I like. Can you stick around a minute? We yeah, gotta, yeah. Let's do yeah. a commercial break and come back. And I want to ask you about that and a couple of other of your past associates and what they've been up to. Let's do that. We're talking with Paul Tracy. It's coming to you live here. It's Wind Tunnel <laughs> presented by Alltel Wireless. And we will continue our conversation with PT right after the commercial break.